हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस वर्चुअल सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन विच इज साइंस टू हेरिडिटी एंड वेरिएशन सो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट प्लीज ओपन पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी नाइन ऑफ योर साइंस टेस्ट बुक एंड प्रोसीड फर्दर students let's have a look on the learning objectives of this module so in this module we are going to discuss about heredity inheritance variation chromosomes and types of chromosomes so student before starting with this chapter i would like to give you a small assignment that is small activity based on this chapter so here you can see a table which is given on the screen as well as on the page number 179 of your test book this table consists of a personal characteristics okay the first will be color of skin second shape of face that is round or oblong third height fourth color of eyes and fifth one orientation of the thumb student in this table you are going to see your own okay these characteristic yourself then you are going to consider same characteristic with your grandfather grandmother father and mother if your grandfather and grandmother they are not here then you can consider of someone else like you can consider of your uncle your brother sibling sibling as well you can consider okay but basically we are going to deal with the grandfather grandmother father and mother so i would like to tell you that this table should be completed into your science to test book and after completing just take a snap and message in the group so student earlier we have seen that there is a great variation within every species in nature so in this chapter we shall study the factors that give rise to these variations we had learned in the previous standard you already learned about many kind of a variation variation in plants variation in human being variation in animals okay so in this chapter we are going to learn about why this variation happens and from where this variation came into existence so first have a look about what is inheritance student inheritance is the process by which genetic information is passed on from parent to child now genetic information student genetic gene g e n e gene this gene is responsible for the characteristic of you and your parent okay from parent the characteristic is passed on into you so this gene is present into the cell as you all know that human body is made up of a multi cellular okay means multiple number of cell each cell consist of nucleus as you all know yes or no nucleus is the main controlling center for the cell okay nucleus sabse main hota hai okay cell hai cell ke andar nucleus is the head which gives command to all cell organelle hai na cell organelle ko apna apna kaam kon batata hai nucleus kon guide karta hai nucleus now 
इन द न्यूक्लियस दर इज अ क्रोमोजोम ठीक है न्यूक्लियस के अंदर क्या है क्रोमोजोम है और क्रोमोजोम के अंदर बेसिकली न्यूक्लियस कौन से कलर का होता है स्टूडेंट ब्लू स्टूडेंट आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज हेरिडिटी सो ट्रांसफर ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स टू ऑफ स्प्रिंग इज कॉल्ड हेरिडिटी इट इज ड्यू टू हेरिडिटी दैट पपीज आर सिमिलर टू डॉग्स स्क्वेप्स आर सिमिलर टू पिजेंस एंड इन्फेंट्स आर सिमिलर टू ह्यूमेंस सो बेसिकली दिस इज कॉल्ड हेरिडिटी नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इनहेरिटेड ट्रेड्स एंड एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ट्रेड्स स्टूडेंट इनहेरिटेड ट्रेड्स आर दी ट्रेड्स दैट आर पास्ड ऑन फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स टू ऑफ स्प्रिंग नाउ दो देर आर मेनी सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन पेरेंट्स एंड देर ऑफ स्प्रिंग ऑफ स्प्रिंग मीन्स चिल्ड्रेन ओके देर आर सम डिफरेंसेस टू these similarities and differences are all the effect of heredity let us study the mechanism of heredity information necessary for protein synthesis in the cell is stored in dna the segment of dna which contains all the information for synthesis of a particular protein is called a gene for that protein it is necessary to know the relationship of these proteins with the characteristics of organisms to understand the concept of heredity let us consider the characteristic plant height we know that there are growth hormones in plants increase in height of plants depends upon the quantity of growth hormones the quantity of growth hormones produced by a plant depends upon the efficiency of the concerned enzyme efficient enzymes produce a greater quantity of the hormone due to which the height of plant increases however if the enzymes are less efficient a smaller quantity of hormone is produced leading to a stunting of the plant so student stunting means impaired growth means poor nutrition not proper growth growth will be not proper genes as you all know that is a tiny message units okay then learn thread a trait that is not passed on in dna dominant trait a trait that will be expressed if it is inherited recessive trait a trait that is not expressed if paired with a dominant trait incomplete dominance the expression of both genes in a pair producing a blended effect now student our next topic is chromosomes so chromosomes as i told you as you can see in the image on your screen this nucleus this is a cell okay this is a cell in between there is a nucleus which is blue in color okay that nucleus will be having chromosomes okay this x type this is a chromosomes and inside this chromosomes there's a dna okay hai na ye pura dna hai aur dna ka ek segment hai yahan se yahan is called a gene now we will be studying chromosomes in detail as i told you this is a chromosome and in between there will be a dna and one segment will be a gene okay gene which is responsible for passing characters from parent to offspring offspring means unke children bacche
Now student, let us learn about what is chromosome. Basically, chromosome is the highly condensed form of DNA. They are wrapped into nucleosomes, wrapped into chromatin fiber. Chromosomes condense during metaphase into the familiar shape. Humans have 22 autosomal pairs and one pair of sex chromosomes. Now, the structure in the nucleus of cells that carries the hereditary characteristic is called the chromosome. It is made up of mainly of nucleic acid and proteins. During cell division, chromosomes can be clearly seen under the compound microscope. Genes which contain the information about hereditary characteristics in coded form are located on chromosomes. Each species has a specific number of chromosomes. Each chromosome is made up of DNA and it appears dumbbell shaped midway during cell division. There is a constricted region on each chromosome. It is called the primary constriction or centromere. As you can see here student, this is centromere. This divides the chromosomes into two parts. Each part is called arm. The centromere has a specific position in each chromosome. So, depending upon this, there are four types of chromosomes. So, the, there are four types of chromosomes. So, first is metacentric. Student, the, meta, the centromere is exactly at the midpoint in this chromosome. And therefore, the chromosomes look like the English letter V. As you can see here in the given image, the arms of these chromosomes are equal in length. As you can see this, both the arms are equal in length. Next is submetacentric. The centromere is somewhere near the midpoint in this chromosomes. which therefore looks like English letter L. As you can see, this is L. One arm is slightly shorter than the other. This arm is slightly shorter than this. Okay. Next is acrocentric. The centromere is near one end of this chromosome, which therefore looks like the English letter J. Okay. This is looking like English letter J. One arm is much smaller than the other as you can see student this one arm is much more smaller than the other and the last one is tele telocentric the centromere is right at the end of this chromosome making the chromosome look like the english letter i this chromosome consists of only one arm eki arm hai iske paas so generally in somatic cells Chromosomes are in pairs. If the pair consists of similar chromosomes by shape and organism, organization, they are called homologous chromosomes. है ना? अगर pair कैसा है? Similar chromosomes, shape and organization दोनों similar हैं chromosomes के, तो उसे क्या बोला जाता है? Homologous chromosome. And if they are not similar, they are called heterologous chromosomes. In case of organisms that produce sexually, one of the chromosomal pairs is different from all than others. Chromosomes of this different pair are called sex chromosomes or allosomes and all other chromosomes are called autosomes. So student, Based on this module, I would like to give you a small assignment. Explain inheritance. What is heredity? Explain inherited traits and expression of traits. 
explain in detail about chromosomes and types of chromosomes even in this question number 4th you are going to draw the chromosomes and types of chromosomes as well